Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys is doing absolutely great today. I want to share with you how to make this 3D logo. Jumping into this, let's check the intro. Tickography skills with creativity please consider subscribing to our youtube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos so without wasting much of our time guys let's dive into today's tutorial yeah good evening guys welcome back to the Gravity cool design training i believe we're all doing great today and happy sunday to you all uh, right now i want to show you how you can make a church logo church logo on your android smartphone using your pc app Without wasting much of our time, let me walk you through how you can achieve this. We are going basic, we are going to use a shape. We are not using any external resources. Go to your shape area. Then you have this particular circle. Then after position it, you centralize. As you can see, you can increase a bit, recentralize. Go to where you have a color. Then you select a black color. Okay, fine. Then the next thing you are going to do, you have what we call a cross shape, just as this, but it won't be too thick. Uh, it won't be too thick. So we are going to position that, and it's going to be rhyme, as you can see. So we we'll position it here, then we'll make this to be around here. So after positioning, then we'll go to where we call our, we'll go to the relative position to position to the center as you can see but this thing still need uh, you see is uh, there is a little space here so increase so that we can bring it out a little bit then we'll have the results just as perfect as this then let's check so you can tap on it let's look at it okay i think this is perfect because nothing must remain nothing must remain so we need to be extraordinary careful and it must not exceed too much as well so let's just tap then we'll look at it again so let's check okay let's uh, use a relative position then we can actually check again okay release so that we check so this is cool right so the next thing we are going to do, we are going to zoom it back. Then we tap on it, just click the inside so that your hand will not disturb it. Then you reposition it to the center. So after achieving that, I'm still thinking of something. I'm thinking of something. We can just expand a little bit. So after expanding, then we reposition to the center. Then we are going to copy. So when you copy, you move it gently. Don't you rotate it manually. You can rotate it just exactly like this to 90 degree. Then you are going to reposition to the center using a relative position. And everything should be able to rhyme, as you can see. So now that we have this, the next thing that we are going to do is so simple. We are going to just uh, manipulate this particular area. So we need to go and tap here. Then we'll move it up a little bit, just as a cross, as you can see. Then we're going to cut out that particular area. But uh, we need to just adjust just as this. So very cool. So the next thing we're going to do right now is to just uh, cut out some parts from here. So I'm going to, uh, uh, before that, let's just merge this together. We'll merge it together. So after merging the cross, then we we'll go to, I'm even thinking of adding a little stroke, a little stroke. So this should be okay, or let's say two is okay. So after that, we are going to give it a black color. Give it black color, as you can see. So we go to back to where we added the stroke. We give it a black color as well. So as you can see, everything plum, right? So now, what we're going to do next is uh we i don't want it to be thicker so let's just make it to be white so we increase just increase as this 
so you can see it right so after that we are going to merge it together and we we'll cut out okay so we'll go to your red color then we we'll cut it out then you can see how are we going to make it look more reasonable yes it's very simple so what we're going to do next is to just come here then we're going to use uh, uh we're going to use our ruler so let's check here then you can see everything is actually right so when it reach this particular area so we're going to copy copy then you bring it to this particular line as well so you can increase it just as this let it stop at this particular line then you bring this in let it stop at this particular line okay let's just adjust yeah i'm actually do something before so let it stop at this particular line as you can see right so let this one move to this particular line so after that the next thing we're going to do is to remove it so now we have 30 we we'll click it one so let's just look at it that way then you increase it to 10 again two very cool so what we're going to do to the next one we have it like this one then we increase it we reduce it to 10 then we say two very cool so that there won't be what it will be uniform and there won't be any bias both at the left and at the right then we cut it out you look at it very cool right very cool so when we look at it i'm thinking there is a uh, let's look at it very well something is uh, missing anyway something is missing so very cool but i want it to come out a little bit like that so let's let's just uh, bring it back so like for instance this one that will have a 10 then we can make it to be something like a five then we send don't it forget back. to hit the subscribe button okay. and the bell icon then five again so i think the second one we can just add one and send it back again then we can merge like that and we'll see the result so we'll go back to erase color and we erase so it's actually cool just as this very cool then the next thing we're going to do is to just uh, click on this text move it to hidden area then you merge it i will tell you why i'm doing that because i want to apply what i've merged it you can see i want to apply uh texture and if i want to sorry i want to apply texture but don't let me apply the texture let me just uh use the uh, uh color use the, the this uh, particular texture instead of me to use a texture let me use a gradient color just as this and i want it to be more bolder than that so i'm clicking here clicking on this and the movie to be more bolder so you can see then uh, we have i want it to be closer so just as this so we have something like this i can reduce a bit okay so after that the next thing i'm going to do to make it a uh, more cool i'm going to centralize then i'm going to write the uh, uh, brand name just as this so we have only cross parish so we come here and we have only only cross only cross parish only cross parish so we'll have just as this and we're going to position here so we look at a better phone that we can actually use that will be able to bring out uh, what we are uh, uh, into so let me look for this and if this doesn't work we can use uh, let's look for other fonts like uh, railway so roboto so let's check the roboto if roboto can actually work for it so oh well, we check other one like uh holy cross which this is not okay so let's look at the awesome phone that we can use for this so i'm checking sorry uh I'm checking for better font here. Achievo. Can Achievo work for it? No. Achievo Rubik can work. Outfits. 
an outfit to work uh, outfit is very long uh, and can work so let's look at uh, the leg pattern should be able to be the right here leg pattern then we have to reduce the size and uh, we position it very well as you can see then after that the next thing that we are going to have after having this uh let's see only cross parish there should be a space positioned well okay we can still look at it this way is there actually rhyme it's rhyme then after that we have the tag line we have the tag line the diocese of sacramento we have it tag line that is a diocese of sacramento so we have go here we have diocese we have a diocese Diocese of Sacramento. Okay. Then after that, we are going to just position it at the bottom like this. So we have a tag line here, and that will be a Diocese of Sacramento, and uh, there will be uh, a little space in between them where is space just much not much then we're going to centralize it so everything should be centralized then we look at it very well if there is any if we are justified so we'll make it closer a little bit then everything will actually cool so a little breathing space <clears throat> sorry then we check whether this is in line very well so now as it is, we need to reduce this to make it uh, go along with this, as you can see. So what we're going to do is to centralize, then we'll look at it critically. Now, let's add a uh, uh, gradient to this as well to make it look more uh, awesome. Then what we're going to do next to this, uh, I just want a kind of uh, a trick here. So I'm going to click on the plus sign to add this. So after clicking on it, I'm moving it towards this particular edge. Uh, you can see. Well, let me just okay. Can be. Don't clicked. forget to hit the subscribe so button something and the like bell this, icon. Uh, and it has to be okay. Cool. So let's look at it. So I want it this to be around here. Then this will be at the middle. Then we'll have something like this. Uh, let's check this. Uh, check this check this okay so this should be cool right so i we'll have this just let it go here then this should go here and it uh, it's not really red unlike the other so i want to check something okay so we come here then we make a kind of a adjustment like other so everything is actually cool so we can make it come here why this one go here so that there will be a kind of this particular line so you can see what i just achieved so now the next thing i'm going to do here i'm going to the gradient area as well so which i'm going to hide all these things and position this uh, there so now we have this at the bottom which you can see so now that we achieved that we just have it black are you getting it we have vitamin we select all the layer then we are going to merge everything after merging we can out uh, uh, scale it out so after scaling it out we go to the save area so we are going to save with ultra then with png so now i'm going to take you to where we are going to present it using our mock-up on the 3d mock-up so let's go so welcome back guys so as i said i'm going to show you how you can present that logo on the mock-up now so now this is my photo P interface and what you are going to do is click open from computer then you access where you have your mock-up image so i'm going to bring the mock-up and this is the glass mock-up i'm going to use which is wall so now i'll wait a little bit for the mock-up to load after loading then we can proceed on the editing now it's loading the next thing we are going to do is to click on the layer then you double click 
so when you double click you hide the logo that was there <clears throat> then you scroll down then click on the file locate where you have open and place tap it then you locate where you have your design so for instance i'm going to look for my own design because i know where i save it i save it on the pixel with a, a transparent background but so that we'll not select the wrong one we have to check so i believe i don't what i save it with transparent background so now i've imported it so i will scroll down and uh, we are going to increase the size so as to place it properly on the then i will scroll down click on the file click on open sorry click on save with smart objects so and after tapping on that then you'll be looking at the screen of your phone for the result to display you have to extract this to markup because you can see where i selected it is from my drive so now smart object updated just tap on this this got this part then be looking at the screen for the better transformation then you see the result is out you can see the result right so now the next thing we are going to do we should look at it whether we can amend anything there or everything is actually but when you look at it is a kind of a good which actually work well so click on the file then click on export export as png then you see the save just save then you click download then we can view the result and see how it look then you can see the result so i believe this is helpful anyway thanks for watching god bless you